I want to tell you that my main focus is on us. When I think about you, I also think about us being together and having a happy and satisfying life in our relationship. The thought of building a future with you fills me with immense joy and contentment. We will always love and support each other no matter what, and it will feel natural. I am working on being able to give and receive equally because I know that when we both do that, amazing things can happen. It's important to me that our relationship is a partnership where we both feel valued and understood. I am fixing all the parts of me that were broken when I met you. Meeting you has been a catalyst for my personal growth and self-improvement. Getting to know you made me realize that I want to keep you in my life forever, but I wasn't ready to let you in and fully accept my feelings for you. Inside, I knew you were the most important person to me, but I pretended otherwise to make myself feel better. This was a defense mechanism, a way to protect myself from the vulnerability that love brings. I know you are probably tired of my excuses and waiting for me to do something, but I need to fix some things in my life before I can fully be with you. I don't want to cause any problems or make things harder for you because you deserve to be happy and have a good relationship. You are the most special person in my life, and I love you so much. You make me feel really happy inside. Before you came along, I didn't think anyone could love me like you do. Your love makes me feel so good, and I want everyone to know how lucky I am. However, we have to be careful because there are some people who might try to ruin our happiness. Some people I thought were my friends turned out to be mean and negative. I made the mistake of telling them about our special connection, and now I realize that you were right when you said that not everyone who acts like a friend actually is. I am sorry for not believing you, but I see now that you were right. Recently, I have learned a lot about myself and the people around me. Some of those people had negative thoughts and said mean things, which caused a lot of problems and confusion between us. But I am thankful because the universe helped me see what was really going on and gave me a chance to make my life better. Our connection with each other is special, and it's helping us grow and change. We are lucky to be on this journey together. Imagine your person is feeling really tired because they have been pretending to be someone they're not, but now they are discovering the real truth about something they've been dealing with. They realize that some people around them have been telling lies, and they also understand that they have been lying to themselves. They can hear the universe, angels, and you calling out to them energetically, and they will soon respond to that call. They are showing that they want to be close to you in their own special way. Being apart has helped both of you heal. You have also been learning how to be independent and not rely too much on someone else. This time apart has allowed you to rediscover who you are and what you want from life. You are starting to see how much you have been thinking about this person all the time. These new thoughts are helping you take better care of yourself and focus more on your own life. If you start to notice that you rely too much on someone else or if you feel sad or hurt, it's okay. These feelings show up to help us realize them, and when we realize them, we can start to feel better. It might not always happen in a straight line, and it might be messy sometimes, but that's okay. It's normal for people to make mistakes and learn from them. We are here to learn, to love, and to become better versions of ourselves. When we work on fixing our hearts and bad habits, it's like we are becoming better versions of ourselves. It's like starting fresh and focusing on where you and the person you care about are going. It's time to forgive each other, talk things out, and make things right. If it hasn't happened yet, the person you care about really wants to be honest with you and be close to you. They are waiting for the right moment to open up and share their true feelings. You and this person have been on a long journey together, traveling through different times and places. Your bond is stronger than just a regular friendship. It's important to remember who you are and why you are here. 
Even though you may feel apart from each other sometimes, it's actually a way for you to grow and get better. Both of you have gone through a lot of learning and healing along the way. Some people might stop talking to you because someone else told them to, but you show them that they can be easily influenced by others. Even though they are grateful for what you taught them, they still get really happy just talking to you. They are trying their best to fix things so they can be close to you again. Reflecting on this journey, I understand now how much we have both grown and changed. The challenges we faced were not in vain, they were lessons that have shaped us into stronger, more resilient individuals. Our bond has been tested, and it has proven to be unbreakable. I am grateful for every moment, every lesson, and every step we have taken together. It is this journey that makes our connection so unique and powerful. As we move forward, I am committed to being the best version of myself for you and for us. I am dedicated to nurturing our relationship and ensuring that we continue to grow together. The love and support we share are the foundation of our happiness, and I am confident that we can build a beautiful future together. Thank you for being patient, for believing in us, and for loving me unconditionally. Our journey is far from over, and I am excited to see where it takes us next. Your person is feeling completely overwhelmed with love for you. They are so deeply and madly in love with you that their desire for you is almost palpable, filled with an intense, almost electrifying sensual energy. This powerful connection has left them enthralled by the perfection they see in you, their queen. Their soul is in a constant state of longing for you, a yearning that helps them discover and remember the profound, soul-level love they hold for you. This deep connection is not merely about the physical or emotional aspects of love, but about a spiritual bond that transcends everyday experiences. They are determined to rekindle this love and are prepared to make every effort to work on this relationship, regardless of the obstacles. They recognize the importance of powering their love and setting things right with you. They understand that their past actions have caused you significant frustration and irritation. However, they are now acutely aware of these missteps and are committed to rectifying them. Your person is placing their trust in the belief that if they put in genuine effort and engage in honest communication with you, there is a high chance you will find it in your heart to forgive them and listen to what they have to say. Despite their readiness to make amends, they can sense that you are in a state of refuge. You are questioning the reality of the situation, uncertain whether they will truly take the necessary actions to prove their commitment. This uncertainty has left you in a precarious position, wondering whether you should wait for them or move on with your life. You have become very guarded, a natural response to protect yourself from further disappointment, especially given the lack of tangible proof from your person's side. This has led to a sense of feeling lost and confused when it comes to the connection you share with them. Your emotions are heightened, and you are still very much afraid of being hurt again. Both of you need to find a way to trust each other once more and take a leap of faith by surrendering to the unknown. This leap of faith is crucial in navigating the complexities of your relationship. Guidance suggests that the more you love yourself, the more love your person will be able to give you. This is rooted in the idea that you both are part of the same soul. When you focus on loving yourself, you are, in essence, loving your counterpart. This self-love is not about superficial acts like fancy dates, it's about the deeper work you do for yourself, building healthy boundaries, respecting yourself, and fostering inner growth. Although there is an undercurrent of fear within you, you still feel deeply for your person. You can sense that they have undergone a transformation. However, it's essential to understand that rushing this process will not lead to a quicker resolution. Impatience and the defense mechanisms you have developed to protect yourself can end up becoming burdensome and exhausting. This impatience can burn your energy out and hinder the natural progression of your journey together. 
Your journey towards rekindling this relationship involves embracing patience and self-awareness. By working on yourself and allowing your person to see your growth, you create a space for genuine connection and mutual understanding. It's about fostering a love that is not just reactive but proactive, built on a foundation of trust, respect, and mutual effort. Your person's overwhelming love for you and their desire to make things right is a powerful motivator. They are willing to confront their past mistakes and engage in open, honest communication. They hope to rebuild the trust that has been eroded and create a future where both of you can thrive together. This journey is about rediscovering the depth of your connection and allowing it to flourish naturally. The path to rekindling your love is not just about fixing past mistakes but about growing together. It's about understanding that love, at its core, is a journey of self-discovery and mutual respect. By taking the time to love yourself, you open the door for a deeper, more meaningful connection with your person. This process requires patience, faith, and a willingness to embrace the unknown, trusting that your shared love will guide you both to a place of mutual fulfillment and joy.